Right, uh, right. So Earth is an electrically resonant frequency. So what I've done is I've changed a harmonic. Think of everything as music uh, and harmonic right. being harmony. Mm -hmm. So with uh, a harmonic of the Earth's natural frequency or harmony of the Earth's natural frequency, you can actually uh, send electricity through it like a perfectly polished conductor. So I have picked the harmonic of the Earth's natural frequency and I'm basically sending electricity to the Earth that way when that's on and when oh. it's ideal. But when I sent electricity to Chicago, mm -hmm. I actually wasn't even utilizing the extra coil because it was all out of whack. I was just utilizing this coil and the primary. So if you'll notice, the primary, these, these black turns right here, so if you follow, so the track turner goes there, then it goes to there, then it goes into the primary, see? And then after that turn finishes, it jumps from that turn down to the next one, comes back, and then comes to there. Then it goes right back to there. It never connects to this. See, this connects to the earth. So this is what, this is basically a big transformer. Mm -hmm. It's like a bigger one of those. So it doesn't have an iron core though. So it can ring out at whatever frequency I want it to. Uh, it's an air core resonant transformer. Uh, that thing is out of whack. And, w and what does the big ball do at the top? Uh, it's like a capacitor. It, um, so with single wire electricity, which is basically what this is, because it's utilizing the earth, it needs like a, it doesn't necessarily need a return wire. It just needs a space to back up into so it can alternate, alternating mm -hmm. current. It's vibrating back and forth. And if you're at a harmonic of the Earth's natural frequency, every like little molecule in the Earth will start to make, it will vibrate like that and copy the electricity, oh, basically wow. making the whole Earth the path. Like, so wow. <clears throat> say this is like a radio station, that's like a radio, that's out of tune. But you know, you can tune multiple radios to the same station. Right. But this, with this like this, is like, say this is like 91.3 FM. This thing is out of tune, so it'd be like tuning to 108.4. Or Dawn or FM. <laughs> and like, but it was still lighting that light bulb. So with the, everything dialed in, it's way It's even better. better. Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're actually, losing more. Little known, but I sent, when I sent the electricity to Chicago, I actually did it a second time that I don't really talk about a lot, and it flashed and burnt out his LED. But I had him tune the receiver coil. This guy, the guy I'm talking about is Nick Matsu because we don't really work together anymore, long story. But um, anyway, I had him tune his receiver coil a different way uh, with direct connections versus a crystal oscillator and everything. And when he received the electricity, he was he said he was standing across the room and he saw it flash mm. and it never worked again. So it burnt it out. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. But so like my question was, how do you tune the things? So with inductance and capacitance, an LC circuit is an electrically resonant circuit. Capacitor, inductor. With the right values, you can get whatever frequency you want. So the so that's how you get that frequency. But I've picked a harmonic of the earth. So basically that's tuned to that. And really the extra coil is supposed to be tuned to that. But I see it right now. So but I still managed to send it to Chicago. So it wasn't that bad, but it was still out of tune, and that's pretty much the same. Um, but it's sent to Chicago, 918.6 wow. miles with just pretty much this and this. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is, that's crazy. So like, because Nicholas, Nikola Tesla's idea was like, it could be like go everywhere, right? Yeah, and so there's can. no limits can. where it can yeah. go. And also the size of your coil determines the frequency. So. The bigger the coil, the lower the frequency. Let mm. me show you some pictures of Nikola Tesla's uh, magnifying transistors. Yeah, I was about to ask that because, you know, like with transformers, they have a certain amount of windings and that, you know, tr um, affects the mm. output. So I wondered if it was the same thing. Well, his output was about 12 million <clears throat> volts. 12 million? Mm -hmm. uh, from the Wardenclyffe Tower, right? Oh, from his Colorado Springs. Oh, because the tower never worked, would right? Have been, yeah. yeah. Wardenclyffe would have been way bigger. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, man, I need to get more. Okay, guys on TikTok, we're gonna move over to YouTube, okay? Guys on TikTok, so move over to my YouTube, Nature Jab.
So here it is. Since we gotta get just a horizontal, just regular video footage. Oh yeah, that's like the classic picture. <laughs> here's another one. He was that's a double exposure. So they took two pictures in one. One picture he was sitting there and with it off, and then another it was just on without him there. Wow. I have his notes out. You know, it's too. crazy that like he never died from electricity. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Just yeah, yeah. He knew what he was doing. Like we just need shots for like, <laughs> of of him and it's all this because that's for like the the video itself. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. I um I have a copy of his lab notes out in the truck, but I um I used to read those when it was like silent reading time in high school. I was like, let's read Nikola <laughs> Tesla's notes, and I would <laughs> silently read them. So you've always been into oh, electrical. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what, what age did you truly like start like building things electrical? I don't even remember. Watch the video. Hang on, I gotta find it. Oh, oh yeah. I gotta throw my cousin under the bus and then I'll start explaining to him. Oh, the stick. Somebody must have dropped it. <laughs> it's okay. I'll pick it up. Children, are you gonna come down here and draw? I'm gonna make a magnet field. Actually, it started. How old were you here? I do not. I don't even know. I think it was nine. A lot of magnetic fields. Not in your Of course, my music. <laughs> so you always what? Wow. That's crazy that you literally have always been into. But well, no, I added the music for oh, this okay. video. But I like I like fifties music back then. That's when this thing was in the spawn. That's the guy in Chicago. He said two thousand miles. It was nine hundred eighteen point six. I don't know why he said that. From Texas, I'm in Illinois. We're about two thousand miles away. I'm it's at two thousand now. It's nine hundred. <laughs> You'll see it like right up, right, right under the play button. That's where it is. Oh, yeah, I see it. I'm not doing anything. That's it just like that light bulb that was flickering there. That's, that's what crazy. it was doing. So, is your goal to ultimately like build the Warden Cliff Tower? Yeah, I know the, all the dimensions and everything. I just don't have the space or funding. Or the funding, right? Yeah. Right. That's always mm -hmm. the thing. How much do you think it would cost? Well, Tesla spent a hundred and fifty thousand. But that was back then. One. Yeah. But I mean, I don't see how it was that expensive because it was basically one of these. Mm -hmm. but it was way wider at the base, and then the tower was built over it, and there was a little um. <coughs> sorry, there's a metal thing that went from the center all the way up to the top of mm -hmm. the tower thing and then um there were these little uh glass like bottle things filled with foil on the top spear thing um but apparently it was never turned on but they said when he did run his colorado springs magnifying transmitter uh horses and people 20 20 miles away would uh no, because the sky would light up blue, you would hear like a thunder, an artificial thunder, like man-made thunder. Wow. And sparks would shoot up from the ground through your heels and your shoes. And horses would go crazy because they would be getting shot. Oh them. my goodness. One what time, the heck? One time he burnt out from a missile generator in Colorado Springs. <laughs> you know... To go rewind it. And you know the craziest thing about that, because I think about that, and it's like that's amazing for humanity, because obviously we know he why he was doing it, but that also was like a weapon too, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you could. I mean, he it would be bad if it got turned off. If it if it got turned right. off. So the magnifying transmitter, after it was finished, if it was powering the world, it'd be bad if somebody came and like turned it off, you know? That's true, but I'm saying like with you know the how the horses were affected and stuff, yeah. right? Because like well, that could anything at the right frequency. Have you heard of Savannah syndrome? No. It's, uh, so this happened uh, to like some government officials or something. They basically beam like this frequency at them, and it basically started like messing and scrambling their brains and stuff. Like right? they um. Let me, let me. That's scary. Like, like MK government, Ultra, the right? Military te uh, technology where they shoot microwaves at people to make them like run away, like at, at protesters. Why? Yeah, they can control the weather too. So Nikola Tesla, he um he documents in his notes at one point that 
he, he's talking about like how clear the sky was and how bright the moon was and everything. And he, he was about 15 miles away from Pikes Peak. But he said you could see a train going up Pikes Peak and you could see so clearly you could see the windows in it from 15 miles away. Whoa. Which is insane. Yeah. But the reason is because his magnifying transmitter, when it was on, would push away the clouds. Wow. And they have super strong stuff they could do with mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So would it push away the clouds in like a circle pattern? Um, I mean, I, I would say so, yeah. Cause, That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. But look, you can read Corona Syndrome. Syndrome is also known as an anomalous, uh, what, how do you say that? Health, uh, wait a minute, hang on, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, let me find a good definition. Oh, uh, okay. Look, um, symptoms, um, why, why is my phone being distributed? It says... Why? Why is this doing this? Anyway, basically, in, in a nutshell, they beam this sound at people and the frequency like causes headaches and dizziness and all kinds wow. of stuff. Wow. Yeah, and confusion. But can that work the, the opposite way if you beam the right frequency? Can it like... Yeah, it can heal. And heal so, yeah. yeah. But like anything is possible with the right frequency is what I always mm -hmm. say. Literally on the back of my phone. The Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> it says if you want to find the secrets yep. uh, to, of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, vibration. Nikola Tesla. 369, right? Yeah. Like, literally. Like everything is vibrating. And actually frequency is vibration over time. So mm. when, like, okay, I have a, a demonstration. <clears throat> But it's going to be kind of hard to keep when you turn on the flashlight. So say the rate I tap the water is going to be the frequency. You'll also get wavelength on that, you know. But right, anyway, and those are like so different frequencies. watch this. At the frequency I tap, observe. You can see waves go out. Right. See? So at different frequencies, you get, why is this not working? You get different wavelengths. Mm -hmm. right? So like if I went like, if I go bigger, basically, you get bigger, right? Yep. Circle. That's how the ocean works. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> so that's basically... Oh, and that brings me to another point. So, this coil right here is actually wound up to a fourth of the wavelength of the frequency I was transmitting at, which was 158 times the first, which is not really a birth or what I come to find out. But it still works, even, even then. But um, it would work better with an iPhone on it. I just, when I started out, I was like, let's try 168, experimenting and stuff. But the Nick received it in Chicago. But basically, so a fourth of the wavelength of 168,000 uh, hertz is 1,464.2857 feet. I, I've been <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so that's how long the coil is right here on the outside. And that ideally would have been tuned to resonate at 168,000 hertz. So basically, it's wow. making the man made lightning. And then it, it can just like. Have you seen the videos where I light the, the stuff on my kitchen table? Mm -hmm. I, this is basically a giant one of those. But it's using the earth. Okay. Instead of like. Instead of me having to have all those coils set up and stuff, these are like the little coils I have set up. But the earth is always carrying that frequency. So I hope. That wow. might make more sense. You know, that reminded me of like, like there's like the cubit mm -hmm. or cubit. Oh, you know those different. Square, um, yeah, square. yeah. That doesn't apply because it's not going through the air. It's not radiated. It's going through a wire. Well, no, I wasn't talking about that. Mm -hmm. I was talking about um, because you you mentioned the mm -hmm. exact amount of feet this was. Right. was like the lost cubit. Um, there's like this. There's these different uh measurements that are correlated with certain effects. Like certain exact measurements, and that just reminds me of that. Well, yeah, so the skin effect is that what you're talking So that's where like high frequency tends to stay on the outside of a conductor. Mm -mm. I'm just talking about, um, uh -huh. you know, the exact length, right? Certainly. So you can't, you can get really close to the frequency you want, like with math and everything, but it actually takes doing to actually get that exact frequency. Mm -hmm. Like math gets you close, but yeah. not exact. Right. Then real world, you have to kind of trim some of it yeah. off. That's what Tesla did. He would cut off sections at three foot lengths to get the, the exact mm -hmm. frequency. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm.
And so where did you get like this stuff from? Eva. <laughs> ebay.com <laughs> you can get a lot, a lot of things on ebay a lot that does but what was the shipping i kind of thought you were uh, so this thing is uh 552 pounds uh but whoa the shipping was like i think it was like 120 bucks on it and then uh this whole thing like all in all it was like a thousand two hundred bucks but I used some of my, um, so my fans, when I first started a Venmo and I put it in my TikTok, they would actually donate. They don't really donate me, like, because they don't see my stuff, you know? Mm. But TikTok doesn't like them to see it yeah. the other way. It's not them, it's TikTok. Uh, I, but um, they, when I first got that, I got about $2,000. So wow. I was able to get this, and then the donations pretty much just went. I was like, oh, man. But I got this. So anyway. Yeah, it's just so exciting when you can like get the toys you need, uh -huh. you know, the tools. You need. So yeah, it sucks when you're like limited. Cause like, you know, you I bet if you had like a million dollars, you would do oh, so yeah. much. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's never given to the people that would do the most. Right? Yeah, and also like, so with all my TikTok and stuff, I, um, everything I make, like even from TikTok, goes right back into my content. You know, so yeah, it's not, it's it kind of, it's it's not really for me. Well, it kind of is because, like, I use it, but everything I buy is antique, so it's gonna go in my museum. Right. You can cut so it out. It's kind of for the people, and like 